Good morning, guys. Good morning. Okay, so we're going to start trading today. I'll show you guys where we at, what we got up going on. Let's see what we're doing here. All right. One thing I like to do is test my uh, test my options. So this is down. Let's go ahead and buy one. See how down we really are. See if that goes through. And this is 288. I would love to buy this at two. I love to buy this at 288. Let's just see if they'll let me get it at 290. So we're gonna do that. Um, nope, they didn't let me get the first set. That took us down to to 33, 50, 522. Okay, we're dropping down. Our current price is 288. I paid 279 for it. So that didn't work. 213. Okay. 116. Alright, just give her a second. She's winding up. Let's go check out double double AL. Now, just a few seconds ago I sold this pre-market at 1271 yeah I got rid of this at 1271 right the pre-market now some days I sell pre-market because man they always do that they always everybody gets the profit they take their profit out and they jump out so I'd rather just take my profit now we're down to 1258 they just borrowed 5 billion everybody wanted to get in um, this over the weekend. So now this is going back down. This is making a little bit more sense. I'm looking for a nice entry here. This might be a good entry here. So let's see. I might grab it right there. All right. Let's see. I might wait. How far down are we going to go? That might be a good entry. She shot down. Now it's battling. Yep. Now I'm going to grab 200 shares. I'm jumping back in. Can I afford to get any more? I possibly could. Yeah, I could get more. Yep. Let's get one more hundred. I'm going to ride her back up and try to get some profit out of this. All right, so what happened is the American Airlines got $5 billion, so we're going to ride her back up. That's a nice little swing trade. Oh, you can call it a day trade. But we'll ride her back up. So I'll jump back in. See what happens with that. Give her time to go back up. And GameStop is doing the exact same thing. You can buy more of this. But I'm kind of low on cash because of my options and stuff. So we're going to wait till these go up higher. We'll jump in and ride this up. My oil rig shares should be rising. And they are. I just bought these because they were super low. You can see the trending down thing going on here. So from down here all the way to down there, it's like 30%. 37%. If we go back up to 130, <clears throat> and 30% of 4,000, 30% of 4,000, it's like a thousand, something like that. So I'm just trying to hold on to that until we get back up. I'm at 36. Now, just so you know, I'm always taking money out of my account. Um, Constantly taking money out of my account. I've been taking money out constantly. So, no, I've been pulling money out the uh, account for purpose of investing in Luckin and also the cryptos. So, we're not where we could have been. Cause I've been pulling out. I pulled out twenty seven hundred. I pulled out twenty five hundred there. I pulled out five hundred here. Another 500 there, another 500 here, 500 there on a different day. Then I pulled out 
So another 500 and 500. So I, I pulled out like 5K, guys. Like I've just been pulling money out. And the reason I'm pulling out so much money is because I'm trying to... Oh, let's look at this. Rig is up 89 cent. We're up 200 on that. So what's making it go up? One second. The reason I'm pulling money out is because this is the pivot point in my account where I got enough money in the account to where I can... I feel like I got enough money in the account to where I can just, um, you know, make these really good trades. And the profit that I make, I take half of the profit from each trade out of the account at this point. I've been trading for two, for basically three years, and I've never been able to take profits. That's because I was constantly trying to get to where I'm at now. It took took three years to get to this point. So I'm I'm finally able to take money out. Um and reinvest in other you know ideas. Now if I didn't have to get other stocks outside of the account, then maybe I wouldn't have to do that. But I had to do that because I had to take money out the account because I needed to purchase more Bitcoin and more Ethereum and what you can see is actually going up. I mean, my Ethereum investments, I started buying like around here. I bought 10 Ethereum here. I bought like another five since then. So we're up pretty good on that. Bought some more Bitcoin. So we've just been buying more. <clears throat> now with this with this I'm going to want to buy these are down it's not down a lot but I'm going to want to buy more options if this keeps dropping so we're retesting $10 on GameStop uh, that's no problem to me um, let's go ahead and stop this for a second because I don't want to let me see something. We don't want to pay that fee if we could get it even cheaper. I think I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna pull this day trade now. This is a good trade. Six percent is pretty good. I'm gonna pull this because I'm gonna need this for 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 GameStop. We can jump back in on this trade if it dips back down. So I'll just take all these shares. She's up pretty high, 11% on the day. So we made back 400 bucks. I'm going to go ahead and get out of this trade, guys. She's not going to just keep going up, so it's gonna. It's up pretty good. She's probably going to come back down a little bit. I mean, I'm pretty happy with 11% gain in one day. Watch when GameStop goes down. I got my cash margins up now. I got my buying power up to 12,400. So this dips any lower, which it might be done here. Let me buy some of these because this is the good ones to get. And then we're in October now, so I better get as many of these as I can at this price. One four one at one fifteen. This is going to go back up pretty good in a second. So, oops, let's do that. At least one of them should have went through, right? Uh, come on, guys. Also, I should grab some of these at two ninety six. These are the ones. Uh, let's see, one at two ninety eight. I'll pay a little extra if you let it go through. Come on, let it go through. Yes, two ninety eight. So let's. Oh, look how far down it dropped. Uh, let's see. Can we get it at two eighty five? Let's try two eighty nine. Can we get it at two eighty nine? We'll do one at a time because we're not gonna mess up our. Uh, maybe not. Let's do two ninety five. Let's do two ninety four. 
so my 11 options partially went through okay so as you keep dropping this becomes cheaper which is good for me so got 55 let's try to get the rest uh what was it one let's do 114 now let's do 11 at 114 <laughs> At some point, they're going to say something about margin. Okay, and my double AL isn't working out very well. Let's uh, let's get out of this position right quick. So we don't lose too much money. And then we can always just... We can always... Just, that, that trade isn't working. So I'm selling short. I'm selling out quick. Come on, losses. I'm out. Now, since this one is working and we actually got more capital to work with, we're going to jump more into this because this is going to start going back up any minute here. So let's do this. 116. Shoot, it's going to go back up soon. Let's do another 11 of these. And let's do another 11 of these. Let's see what we can get. All right, 115. All right, we're trying to get back up to a higher point. Let's see? And then we'll just leave it. And what this should do is, is push us, when we go back over 10, we'll make another two grand or something like that. This is gonna be a lovely trade. It's short term, so it's got it's gonna have a lot more profit when it goes through. Uh come on, come on, come on. We got eighty eight options. We got seventy one of these. Let's see how many more of these we could get. Now remember, I paid two seventy nine, uh, one seventy nine. What was it? Where's it? Average two eighty. So no, those aren't gonna work. We'll just use these for now. Oh look. These got really cheap right quick. Okay, 105. Average cost 104. Alright, we can't get any more because we're low on cash. And I don't want a margin issue. Okay, that's it. We only need one more. We'll just get one more, guys. We'll just get one more. All right, so from here, I'm pretty set. We got 100 shares or 100 options now. Remember, okay, so originally what happened is we went all the way up to a dollar to a dollar thirty six on the, on these options, the ten dollar calls, and I took profits at one one like around that range, like one one thirty six. I mean, I can show you. See, it was one thirty six. This is where I sold. Uh, I sold because it went up this high, dropped, went up some more, dropped, and it shot up here. So I sold. I sold like 40, it came down here and then came back up here and I sold the rest. So we already had a hundred of these and that's kind of how we made that play. I bought this back down here and I was buying these up here. So I bought a hundred down here. This came up here. So you can see I made like a 50% return. <clears throat> so for this to come back down, that's beautiful, right? So it came back down. I'm buying it back now. And then this will go back up to 140 again whenever it goes back up. But, of course, it has to go back up in the next couple days. It has to go back up today or tomorrow or something like that so I can get the profit. If it takes two, three weeks, then yeah, I'm going to expire and it's going to be messed up. But we're not going to let her expire because this is way too much money to let expire. So... As soon as it gets back over 10, 
I'm going to try to pull all that out. This is really the risky one because this one expires on the this one expires on the 16th. So I have to get the profit out of that one quickly, but this also going to make the most money when it goes back up. So we'll take that, we'll jump out. And then when we what we do with the profits from this one is we're going to take the profits from this one and jump back into this one below it, the uh the ten dollar cost seventy three buys. So originally, what happened was, I had shares, which I ended up selling. The shares. Uh, you know what? This is actually a really good time to buy another one of these right here. Let's see if they let me get it. Even if I had to pay two seventy eight for it. Let's see. One of these for two dollars and seventy nine. This is what I was paying anyway. So it would have been smart to have sold these when we were all the way up, but uh, bruh, I couldn't do that. I couldn't do that. Oh well, they're not gonna let those go through. They're back up to two ninety. Sometimes I like to do that to just push it back up. So we have a fourteen hundred dollar deficit. Let me see if we can keep it moving. Come on, gang, stop. Go back up, baby. Uh, AAL is on its way back up. Well, we cut losses just in case. There's some still morning sales. It looks like people want to get back in it. And uh, to be honest, I sold my puts for Nikolai. Because I don't know. I'm going to wait till Nikola goes up. I'm, I'm going to wait till it goes all the way down. And, yeah, I don't know how far down it's going to go, but uh, this thing was at 73. So if I can get Nicolo down to like five dollars or ten dollars or something like that, I'd I'd start accumulating at that point because it's gonna the company's not gonna die. It just looks like it is, and to me that's enough. Like it, it might take it might take months for this thing to stop dropping. If people are pissed and they want to just get out, so I'm gonna I'm gonna gladly buy it up when it gets low enough. But it's still too high to me. I don't want to buy it for eighteen dollars a share. It's just expensive. I mean, it shouldn't cost more than NIO when NIO is the same price, but actually sells cars. Like that's why it's like, why are you, why are you guys buying a company that? See, it's the same price. It's pretty stupid. All right, so when GameStop goes back up to even a little bit, this will this goes back to the 146 you could just you could just take since i got 100 even i can do the math right quick when we get to the 140 range this would be worth 14,000 it's worth 10,000 right now so at 14,000 you can add 4,000 to this number here which is 32 so plus 4,000 makes it 36.4 and then the same thing for this number here and then when this gets all the way up back to where it was it'll be two three twenty it'll, yeah it'll be a lot oh, that was crazy let's go back here so we're holding on to this f until f you know until it gets to short squeeze but um i've been i've been selling all these options and buying them back buying them selling them, buying them selling them and switching back and forth between shares and options so that I can maneuver and pulling money out like discount would be a 50k if I hadn't have been pulling all this money on up I, I think I put like 12k in a crypto or more and then I put like another 7k or something like that in the luck and coffee which is getting ready to turn around and go back up so I got like 5,000, 6,000 shares of looking right now. Because it was only $2 this whole time. When it goes back to NASDAQ, it's going to be like psh, super rocket ship. Anyway, that concludes today for right now. I'm going to make another video later. It's going to be a stalemate for a little while while we're dealing with this price bouncing around. I think 
these are not going to go through. So I'm going to, I'm just going to hold on to the money for now. And cancel those and just keep a couple dollars. Anyway, I hope you like this video. Watching me trade. I'll show you what we are. Later on the day, I'll make another video. Maybe. All right, guys. Talk to you later. Peace.